This right here, this is not what a business owner wants to see to begin their work day. But in one beloved tourist hotspot, business owners say lately that's pretty much all they've been seeing. And this morning, in fact, things escalated even more after several businesses were hit overnight. Tamara Lopez joins us once again from Old Town. So Tamara, people are not happy to say the least. Yeah, Trevor. So right now we're outside the shop at Old Town, but you can see there's no shoppers here tonight because the front entrances are boarded up and there's still caution tape around the entire building. Business owners in Old Town say they're frustrated and angry after this latest vandalism, and they say that's because it's become almost a daily occurrence for them. Michelle Lemires owns Old Town Cafe, and she says she got a call around 6 a.m. saying vandals hit her store again. This this is what she drove up to today and you can see whoever did this used a chair to smash the windows and she says she spent the day cleaning up broken glass. Police say they're still looking for who did this and why but Lemire says she and her fellow business owners are frustrated about the repeat issues. This is the third time my windows have been broken and um, you know one would just be one pain but this is something I especially in a room that size to have all of it broken. And we as merchants, out of our own pockets, we've hired a security company to patrol it. But, you know, let's face it, Old Town is a very big area. So somebody here could take a chair and smash my windows and start a fire in back when security can be on the opposite side of the plaza. And just behind her restaurant here at the shop at Old Town, it was also severely damaged. According to Albuquerque Fire Rescue, crews responded to a fire here around 5.30 this morning. And this afternoon, crews were still investigating. But right now, there's no word on who or what caused the fire. But there is extensive damage done inside the shop. And again, that caution tape was put up outside the entire store. And the Zuni Fetish Museum just across the way also had its windows broken. An employee there told us that he saw rocks next to the broken windows and believes that someone was throwing them at the window trying to break in. The Old Town merchants have really banded together to take matters into their own hands after several other incidents in the past but are left wondering how they can keep this from happening. I don't know what more we can do other than just keep persevering and not let it overtake uh, you know, our passion, which is, is New Mexico and Albuquerque and the businesses that we, we own. We've really tried to ed educate ourselves as merchants about you know, uh, uh, security concerns, whether it's lighting or cameras, also working with APD, the leadership, to get them to uh, respond and be aware of the issues we're facing. Cassetta says that he has also been in contact with State Speaker of the House Javier Martinez, who represents the Old Town area. Martinez said in a statement that he's talked with APD about setting up a tactical plan here, adding that his office is going to continue to monitor the area closely. Trevor, back to you.